Hi hey guys, here we are on Hacienda de Alamo. Going to be looking at a two bed, two bath ground floor apartment today on El Oasis section of the resort. Um, just starting off here out on the main road. Just to give you an idea where we are, we're on Cali, Malaysia. Just my car there, sorry, blocking the way. And we're going to be having a look at the ground floor apartment just in here. So as we come into this apartment, so bear it might echo a little bit, there's no furniture in this one, as it's a bank repossession. We come into this little corridor area, the kitchen to the right, the double doors to the lounge. Just to the left of us, you've got your fuse box and your media box. And then behind us on the door we came in, you've got your buzzer system. And this is an old alarm keypad, but that's actually redundant now. So I'll start you off just in the kitchen to the right as we come in. You've got your sliding door here so you can close it off. As we come in, you see a really nice fitted kitchen. Space for your fridge freezer just here. Your sink, of course, already in place. You've got space here for your oven and hob. The extractor is already in place. And spot just down here for your dishwasher. So these really nice kind of granite uh, breakfast kind of bar area. You've got this sort of hatch that goes through straight to the lounge which again, you can open and close. And then just behind us, you've got this utility area here. Small utility room, space there for your washing machine. And your brooms and mops and things like that as well. Keep them out of the way. So a really nice kitchen area, nice worktops, nice sort of breakfast hatch there. We go out the kitchen, got these double doors, Let's take you through to a really nice lounge, really good size, as you can see. They actually look a lot bigger furnished. If you look at some of them that are furnished online with us, you'll actually kind of get a better idea of the space as well, but really good size. Looking back on itself, you can see just up the top there, you've got the air conditioning, it's all ducted in, hot and cold. And that all runs off of this central system here. Of course, do bear in mind they are bank repossessions, so of course nothing is guaranteed. They do come as they are. Nice double doors out to the terrace. We're going to look at the terrace last. Let's go through this little door here to the hallway. Just to the left of us, you're going to have some storage space. Just like a shelved up kind of wardrobe space. Then as we go to the end of the hallway, you've got the bathroom at the end, we'll look at it in a second. Just to the right of that, you've got the guest bedroom. Really good sized bedroom here. Got the windows out towards the front of the block. If I go over and look back on myself. Again, you'll see the air conditioning ducted at the top. Nice big double wardrobes here. Plenty of space in this room as well for a double or a single. Give you an idea. All fitted out there, as you can see. And then, excuse me, on the other side, we've got a bigger kind of hanging area. So we go out of the guest bedroom, just to the right of us. You've got the bathroom, so it's really dark in here. So you, it's quite hard to see, I'm sure. It's hard to see uh, looking at it with the naked eye, so I imagine it's pretty difficult. It's all really nice kind of finishing marble. Uh, you've got your sink, your mirror, toilet, and a double shower there. All completely fitted out. Finishing's very similar to the one on the um, ensuite, which you're gonna see now. If you come out of there, straight across that hallway, you've got the master, really good size room here. Again, lots of space for a double, king size, two singles, however you wish to kit it out. If we go over towards the double doors there, again, we'll have a look at that in a bit, and look back on ourselves. You can see the air conditioning ducts just at the top there. You've got two lots of wardrobes. Just here. And then that's just replicated on the other side here, and space in the middle there for a dressing table or a chest of drawers, anything you like. You've got a third wardrobe space straight at the end. Again, all fitted out this one. 
And then you've got the bathroom coming off the ensuite. Of course, it's got the sliding door. You can see it clear in here, the marble finishing and the sink. You've got the double unit here. You've only got the one unit in there in the main bathroom. You've got your three quarter bath with your shower above it and then your toilet and your sink. The finishings are, are pretty much the same. So you'll see a bit clearer on this one, but they're pretty much the same fixture and fittings as the as the um, main bathroom, sorry, the one just here, unfortunately, it's a bit dark. So as we come back out through the hallway, back through to the lounge area, of course, you can go straight out to the terrace from the bedroom where we were, just giving you a little, kind of uh, lay of the land really. So as we come out from the main lounge area, you've got this kind of nice terrace area, almost like some rope, like risen seating areas, some flower pots here, that of course, they're just covered there with the tiles on the top to stop them filling up with water. And then you've got this second lovely part of the terrace just over here as well. That's the bathroom windows there, that's just there. This is the bedroom we just came uh, or just looked at rather, looking out towards your nice plunge pool here. It's a heated plunge pool. Again, most of these will need, of course, the filters changed. They have been sitting for quite a long time. Um, some of them, the pumps need replaced as well. If you talk to the office, we can get some pricing on things like that. They may well work. We have no electric, so there's no way of checking, unfortunately. Uh, you can see again there are the flower pots on the side just covered with the tiles. And then with this one, Got a bit of an extra terrace just here as well, so a bit of extra terrace. This is facing pretty much east, of course, the pool area. You can see just down here, they're just doing some maintenance on the pool. But I think the water level's just been dropped. Of course, we're in February, so it's the sort of time of year where the maintenance is done. But sitting towards the pool, this one, plenty of sun early on, gets it towards early afternoon. Um, we're actually sitting, I think it's around about three-ish now, so it's a bit later in the day. So the sun would have moved across a little bit. You can see it kind of just shining down here, so we've not long lost it. That concludes our tour, guys. Any questions, please come back to the office.